Okay, let's go over the two types of uh, setups we got. We got the gold moving down to our, I mean, crude oil moving down to our target. The first uh, sell signal came up here on gold at a break retest. We had a break retest of low value area. And that's moving, uh, that's moving crude down currently right now. If you look what happened is that we had a, a nice little setup that happened on the break retest of low value area. Now, we went over the, uh, the pattern of a descending triangle. We're looking for a bearish break of this low value area. Once you get below market profile, LVA, there's nothing to hold you up. And what we're looking for is we're looking for a move all the way down 236 on this move. So our short was the first break retest of low value. Once it broke, we got our first Fibonacci dot retracement here to finally get in the trade. So the short was 89 short. We're sitting at 63 now. The target is 36. So it's going to be a nice little, nice little move down all the way from low value to low value. So this is a continuation trade, a break retest with overall trend direction. Because our trend is down, once we get outside of this major low value area, nothing to hold us up. So that's why the market keeps sliding down, sliding down. The three key components is this. Once you get outside LVA or HVA, so here's your main LVA and HVA. So if I block that out, I know that those are my outer edges in the market. If I get below volume profile, which is my solid green level, if I get below that, then I know that I got nothing to hold me up. I want to look for the first Fibonacci dot retracement because I have no support below me. There it was. We had negative market delta of 413 that came in. 413 on the last push. And even before that, we had a huge market delta sell right here. Huge market delta sell. We had six. Bring it back to you so you can see it. 667. 667 on that push here. 667. So just a huge market delta sell. Huge. Anything over 200 is a big order imbalance. And that got the market moving. So there's your short opportunity. Your stop loss is two ticks above the swing high, so you have limited risk on the trade. And that's all because the trend's down, and once you break outside a low value with trend down, there's nothing supporting the market. So you have a, really a black hole of no support. So you get outside these outer edges, you have a really, really good opportunity to look for the first retracement and try to get short the market. We planned that trade out, and it's working out great for us. We get down to 36. That'd be a nice level to look for a final target on that trade. So that trade worked out really well on that descending triangle that we projected. The only time you can take a trade that's a corrective wave against the overall trend the only time you can take, so that, that's a trend trade on crude we got going now. Trend trade saying trend is down. Look for the first break retest of low value area. First Fibonacci dot, negative market delta, and it's cranking down. So that's working out well. Got the runner still running. The only time you can take a corrective wave or against the overall trend of the market is if you get back inside of my J signal chart. This is what I projected before it happened. I said if we get back inside of low value area, or HVA, I'm sorry, and get a retest of HVA, you can look for a corrective wave, and your target would be all the way down to low value down here. That's the overall target on this corrective wave move. Because that, that's the only time you can counter trend trade the market if you get back inside of this green or red developing profile. It called the high. Look at my market delta, huge market delta, over 180 right at the high, break inside, retest. We actually had a buy bounce here to take also off of my stack level, right into high value. When it got up right here at high value, it looked for the corrective wave. Sure enough, negative 181, 
And there was our big corrective wave there also. So that's the difference between trend and corrective, meaning motive waves with five minute trend, you just look for trend retracements into resistance. And a corrective wave is you get back inside of developing, take the first retracement when the fib dots fire, and then you look for a continuation. So Gerald, go back to gold real quick. I mean crude. I'm gonna make sure they understand the difference between corrective and Motive, go back to crude. Those are the only two patterns you're going to do. You're going to look for the break inside of HVA first retracement, or we're going to look for a break outside of LVA first retracement. So crude oil was a motive wave. It broke outside of LVA first retracement, negative market delta. That is with trend. That's called a motive wave with trend. That's around 80% of your trades in the room. Our target's all the way down to 36. All the way down here still. See, that's what trend, break, first retracement. Where a corrective wave is against five minute trend, but you have to get back inside of HVA, first retracement. My target's all the way down to 45.90. This could be possibly just under a $500 trade. We only risk 130 bucks. That's the difference between a motive and a corrective wave. Corrective waves are around 15% of your trading in the room when you get back inside of these values and then retest them with positive or negative market delta. And motive waves are when you get outside of when you get outside of them and you look for the first retracement. So we get outside of LVA, look for the first retracement, nothing holding us up, targets all the way down to 36.